Hello, I'm Kevin Shaw. I'm a reader at Christchurch, Shirley Wood, and I'm here to bring you a reflection this Lent time. Today, I've got a reading from Malachi chapter 3, verse 7. From the days of your fathers, you have turned aside from my statutes, and you have not kept them. But return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. Malachi is a short book, which we often overlook. You'll find it at the end of the Old Testament, and it's also the last of the Old Testament prophetic literature. The book tells of God's heart for Israel, seeking the return and restoration of his people. Its theme is a good one for us to be thinking about in Lent. And although the book of Malachi is set up as a dialogue where God is challenging his people for their various failings, what I find shows through is God's intense love for his chosen people, despite all their failings. And today, we are God's chosen people, and his intense love is lavished on us, despite all our failings. And for me, that's what makes this book so relevant to our life in the world today. The book of Malachi is set during the time of Nehemiah. The Israelites had returned from their captivity under the Babylonians, and with the permissions of various kings of Persia, they had rebuilt the temple over a period of about a hundred years. And now, under Nehemiah, they had rebuilt the walls of Jerusalem, and they were re-establishing themselves as a nation. But the problem was that they had not spiritually returned to the Lord, and this is what Malachi was trying to address. With the temple rebuilt, they had re-established sacrifices, but they were not doing it as God had directed in the book of Leviticus. Particularly, we find that in chapters 21 and 22. And God was rejecting their sacrifices. And the priests were starting to ask, what was the point of all this temple worship? But the Israelites were also undermining the special nature of marriage that God had commanded. They were divorcing their wives, and they were intermarrying into the nations around them. So the nation was not returning to God, and through his prophet Malachi, God was highlighting when the, that when the time came to be judged, they would be found wanting. And this is where we reach the point of today's verse, that despite having turned away from all his laws and instructions, God wants his people to return to him. And, wonderfully, in return, he would come back to them. The Israelites had also been robbing him of his tithes, and he specifically challenged them that if they were to tithe as they should, then he would pour out his blessings on them. So, what should we be taking from Malachi during this time of Lent? Well, first, and perhaps most important for me, it is to recognise the enduring and the unchanging nature of God's love. He loves us despite our failings, and he is continuously calling for us to return to him. And when we return to him, he promises that he returns to us. Malachi was the last prophet through whom God spoke for the 400 years leading up to Christ's birth. The nation was becoming increasingly desperate for God to return to them, and what a way God did it. And for us, at Jesus, that way that he did return, sets a new way for us. Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians 3.16 that the Spirit of God dwells within us. And in 2 Corinthians 13.5 that for those who live in faith, we have Christ within us. And this is the key to avoid falling into the trap that the Israelites of Malachi's time did. With the prompting of the Spirit and Christ within, we can deal with things. We can deal with temptation. 1 Corinthians 10.13 shows us that. And we can endure all things as Paul writes in 2 Timothy 2.10. And we too can test God as he invites us to in Malachi 3.10. In giving generously to God and his work, he promises to open the windows of heaven and pour out for us a blessing until it overflows. So, as we review our relationship with God through our Lent reflections, I pray that we may align our hearts to the God who loves us, so much that he gave his son to die on the cross for us at Easter. May we return to him more closely, seeking to follow his ways, and look expectantly 
for the blessings he gives us each day and in the fruit of our faithful service to him. Amen. So a song I have for you, Graham Kendrick's Rejoice, Rejoice, Christ is in you.